Yeah. We hope. Eric Yawaje is on the line from the Western region mm -hmm. right now, and so we'll speak to him. Hello, Eric. Hello, Bella. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on New Day. We do know, however, that uh, no case has been recorded in the Western region yet, and we're grateful for that. We hope that it stays the same. But tell us, what is the atmosphere like in the Western region at the moment? Thank you, Bella. Well, Western region is calm, but the uh, scores of residents are sitting on tent and watching how events are um, unfolding in the regions that have recorded the coronavirus cases. Yeah. And, you know, Stella, you cannot blame them so, because if you look at Western region, our case who may be precarious considering the location of the Western region. We have an airport here, we have a seaport here, and the region borders every coast. So there are so many uh, points that people can enter into region. But the Western region coordinating council that's trying to be ahead of uh, coronavirus. So they've instituted a number of measures to combat the spread of the coronavirus. Okay. We have recorded some suspected cases. Uh, at the last count, we are having about 41 uh, suspected cases. That was as at um, mid April. Okay. And some of them, majority of them have come out negative. 13 of the results are pending. So we are hoping that uh, the 13 won't record any positive case. And as I was saying earlier, the Western Region Coordinating Council uh, has put in place a number of measures to for them to be ahead of the coronavirus. So okay. if you are coming into the Western Region, the first point of call, that is the Dukum, where we have the toll booth, the, the Western Region Health Directorate has mounted a tent there and any car that passes through that point you are all the passengers are made to alight and they are taken through the necessary protocols to ensure that you don't have anybody coming into the region with a case. Eric, when you say necessary then, protocols hold on when you say necessary protocols what exactly are these protocols are they just checking their temperature uh, exactly, you know, samples exactly. being taken. The, the, the normal things that we see on the various uh, television is when you come, you are asked, you are of your traveling history, you, you are, the, the thermometer gun is shown to record your temperature and other things. So essentially, it is the same protocol that we see on Teddy that is being done at the Bedukum, the, the Tobu. Okay. But I do understand um, that, you know, um, the Western region is not on lockdown, but Accra, Greater Accra, Greater Kumasi is on lockdown. And so people are not able to travel from these two regions to the Western region. So do you have any statistics as to where the majority of these people may be traveling from to the Western region, from the other areas that are not under lockdown? No, the, the tent was mounted before Accra went on lockdown. Okay. So it's a continuous process. What they are saying is that, you know, there are so many routes into the region. And they are saying that they don't want to leave anything to chance. Maybe some someone may have found other means of coming into the region. So what they are doing is that they are setting that tent. So if they're able to be to checkpoint, at least when you get there, they'll be able to as it were, take you through the necessary protocol. So does it mean that there's not been any illegal attempt to enter the Western region from any of the uh, points, maybe without mm -hmm. checkpoints? The, the, what I know of is what's the immigration... You know, um, last last week or there, there was a briefing in Accra by the Ministry of Information, and uh, officials from the Ghana Immigration Service mentioned that they recorded some cases of persons entering into the country illegally, yeah. and Western Region was one of the points. And I remember the man saying about 25 cases tried to enter into the region, and they were arrested. So, so far, that is what we know on record. We don't know whether there's been any attempt by any person okay. or group of persons to enter into the region illegally. All right. You talked about 13 results pending from the 41 suspected cases. Have they given mm -hmm. you any updates on when these results are coming out? Because from the 1st of April up until now, um, we're expecting no, from the that we will... April 5th. So, oh, from uh, the 5th. Okay. We are hoping that by close of this week, 
who get results of the 13 pending. Okay. And, you know, you are saying that people are sitting on the fence unsure. So does it mean that they're adhering to the social distancing directives just in case? Yes. Are they wearing face yes. masks? Yes, they have. Um, the various metropolitan, the various MMB is, have also instituted some measures. So, for instance, if we come to the Kenita Krade, um, the assembly has met with the various transport unions mm. and they instructed that if the, all the vehicles work, for instance, the taxis that are supposed to pick four instead of the original five, if you are boarding a trotro, you are supposed to load two on a bench instead yeah. of the normal the factory. Three. And okay. they've also met with the various market coins and they decongested some of the major markets in the metropolis. So if you go to Pakrade, the traders that were selling at the inner and outer perimeter of the market mm. circle have been relocated to the Jubilee Park. If you okay. go to Sekeli as well, the traders who were participating in the Tuesday market and selling around the market have also been relocated to uh, the Equasi Community Park. If okay. you go to Kodukum, there are attempts to relocate them, except that yesterday we were told that some of the traders were resistant because they wanted the place that they were being relocated to to be put in shape so that they will be able to host their trading activities. When you say put There's in shape, what exactly are they expecting? The traders Sorry. and the officials. The second it's called the Katen Sub Metro. So, hello, Bella. Well, you said they are hoping they put the place in shape. What exactly does that mean? So it's a community park that the the Escado Keten Sub Metro is looking at relocating the some of the traders too. Uh -huh. And they're saying that there is no security, there is no light, um, they've been exposed to the elements of the weather. So what they are asking mm. is that at least the place is put in shape. So they will have security and they could erect some lights there so that they will be assured that um, their words will be safe. Also, they are saying that ever since they started a discussion, they've not had any announcement on the various radio stations asking people that that is where some of the traders will be relocated to. Okay. So we are not sure that that people will come and patronize their wealth. So All right. these are the discussions that are okay. currently ongoing. What about the health uh, you know, officials and the hospitals? First of all, have they allocated a center just in case the Western region starts recording cases? Are they prepared to handle uh, these cases should they arise? And what's the general feeling in the various hospitals and amongst the health workers as well? Well, I, I would say that the health facilities here are fairly prepared. I mean, if you go to the Scado Hospital, they have an isolation center there. If you go to Pismington, they have an isolation center there. If you come to the SM Quarantine Regional Hospital, that is the main referral hospital, they also have uh, an isolation center there. For the ASEA, for the Pismington one, I'm told that it has the capacity to host about three cases if you go to a schedule to same. But if you come to the main referral center, that is the SM Quantum Regional Hospital, the, the capacity is about 15. Um, they are, they've been complaining about lack of logistics, that mm. is the, the PPEs. But yeah. um, for the past three days, we have, we've had some um, institutions and the metro. MPs and the former president, John Demani Mahama, donating some PPEs. So I would say that largely um, we have some PPEs that may be of use when, okay. we, are, when we record in the case. But what <clears throat> they are, the, the major issue now is ventilators. Okay. Um, Quanta is without any ventilator, and, the, and that is what is scary. But um, the regional minister is saying that what they, are, what they are looking at is that they will resort to the ventilators in the various ambulances that were okay. sent to the region as their first act of call. Mm, I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, Eric, thank you so much mm. for the, uh, the updates, and we hope that mm -hmm. everybody stays safe. Mm. And we'll get back to you mm. if you have some more. Thank for you very us. much. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Interesting right. situation yeah. there.